What's going on guys, it's the gaming world here, hope you're all safe and doing well. Fasten your seatbelts and get ready, because this week we're going right into the skies with a newly released Everspace 2. And before we move forward, don't forget to support us by subscribing to our channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss our new videos. Everspace 2 is a fast-paced simulation shooter developed and published by Rockfish Games. Experience a thrilling story set in a vivid, handcrafted open world full of secrets and perils on your journey to become human after all. Discover alien species, unveil mysteries, find hidden treasures and defend your valuables against outlaw clans. In the campaign you'll make some friends with NPCs. By helping them you'll earn certain benefits and bonuses that will provide you with extra strength in the endgame. Dodge, dash, roll and boot guns blazing in the frenetic dogfights, leaving only a trail of spacecraft behind. Use a wide range of weaponry and abilities to defeat a large variety of opponents, like drones, fighters, heavy bombers and powerful gunships, all the way to massive capital vessels. Without further ado, let's begin the final countdown. The distractor hidden in a giant shipwreck surrounded by mines? I do remember a wreck, but it's been a while since we had the beanies out there. Nothing inside the wreck. At least no distractor. It's really cool. Scrap. My hull integrity is getting low. Use some nanobots to try to make it to a nearby station. They'll patch you up there.
infested with hydras. That could explain the weak signal. Cleared it. All beanbags are back online. You can see that. Our base marker is now everywhere but here. You can come back to base now. I found something that can make life a lot easier for you. mentions and the Ethan mutiny. Second Lieutenant Dexter Dax Bashar is facing murder and desertion charges after the death of First Lieutenant Gabbard Voigt. It is believed he was assisted and is still accompanied by Lieutenant Henley Maddox. Transferring full entry to pilot log. A mutiny, huh? Out. While going through some old junk, I found some protective plating for your ship. Might give you an edge in an upcoming fight. I put it in our storage. Gabbard Voigt? I wondered how long it'd take for you to look me up. They say it was a mutiny, that you killed your superior officer. I didn't kill him, but I didn't stop it from happening either. That war, the things we all did, it wasn't right. My friends and I, 
We had a plan to get out and make it all mean something. But Voight was hell-bent on stopping us. And there I was, thinking plans were for fools. Never said I wasn't one myself. Look, I know how hard it can be to trust someone. Maybe you'll find it easier if we focus on fixing up your friend and see where it goes from there. It's really all I'm asking. All right, let's start by having you head over to the Union Bridge Station and buy something called a Prime Sense STA. That's an old but untrackable scanner module. With it, we can finally see the entire system without the fleet seeing us back. And then? We use a scanner to look for a medical station. We loot the place, beef up our med bay, and let the medical AI patch up your friend. What if there are no medical stations around? Cedo isn't that small. We're bound to come across something. I was hoping for something more solid. Well, all right. What's the name of that scanner? Uh, Prime Sense STA? Correct. Have some faith, and I promise it'll be worth your while. The fleet may still be looking for an illegal clone. So when you talk to the traitor, try to be as boring as possible. I'm flying a stolen combat ship. Well, you'll think of something.
looking for a Prime Sense STA. That's the pre-war model. Quite rare, but I do have one in stock. How much is it? 4,200. 4,000? And 200, yes. Say, you don't happen to be a contractor, do you? Uh, no, I'm just uh, into tech like that, that's all. That's too bad. I could have paid you 2.5k if you'd done a little job for me. All you would need to do is deliver a small package to a dear customer of mine. Really? That's it? Will you do it? Sure, why not? That doesn't sound very committed. I would be grateful if you let me take this job. Good. You'll find the package at the abandoned station nearby. I'll give you further instructions once you're there.
towards the base. up to 3.5k. Sounds fair. I'm on it.
send you? Yeah. And don't try anything funny. Just return what you stole, and I'll let you go. Never. They say that I'm just like everyone else. But with this, I'll prove them wrong. I will finally stand out. some Viridian paint by any chance? Yes, that's it. The recipient is already waiting for you at the Outer Rim. You know that Viridian products are illegal. I'm sorry, but I'm not paying you so well to ask questions. Point taken. I'm supposed to meet? You have the package? Yeah, here. This paint job will finally make us stand out. They will see that we're not like everyone else. Am I the only one who prefers to not stand out around here? Time to head back to the trader. Return to my shop and you'll understand. Excellent job. Here are your credits. Great. Oh, and one more thing. Thank you. Uh, you're welcome. When the two Viper pilots came by to order the paint, the first one just barged in, slammed his money on the counter, and made his proposition. While the other one began by asking if it was okay for him to dock here. When I said yes, he thanked me. Can you believe that? That's, uh, amazing. Life out here is cruel and violent. Barely anyone treats their neighbor as their equal. So just hearing a friendly thank you every once in a while means something to me. 
Sometimes it's the small things that really make us stand out. Uh, yeah, right. Well, thanks for the creds, I guess. You're very much welcome, my friend. <laughs>